Okay, this is six types of pronouns for seventh grade. This is the last type. It's indefinite pronoun, which is part six of six. An indefinite pronoun refers to a person, a place, a thing, or an idea that may or may not be specifically named. I like to say an indefinite pronoun is not defined. There's no clear definition of what it is. So here's some examples. All, any, anyone, both, each, either, everything, few, many, more, most, much, nobody, none, no one, one, other, several, some, somebody. So here are a few examples of why they're not defined. If I said anyone, do we know exactly who anyone is? If I said many, I have many m &Ms. Do I know exactly how many many is? Um, nobody? I don't know exactly who nobody is. Um, several. They're just undefined. They're not exactly uh, defined. That's why they're called indefinite. So both of the girls forgot their lines. Both doesn't have their names specifically, but it means both. It's indefinite. Can anyone answer this question? Anyone. It's not defined who exactly can answer the question. It's just asking anyone. Much has happened since the summer. Much is an indefinite pronoun. We're not stating exactly what happened. We're just saying much. I called, but nobody answered. Nobody's indefinite. We don't know exactly who that is. And it's obvious that somebody left early. We don't know who it is, but somebody is indefinite. The only note is to look out because some indefinite pronouns can also be used as adjectives. So look at the difference between these two sentences. The pronoun sentence. Some are bored by this movie. This word some is taking the place of the noun. It's taking the place of whatever that subject was. But as an adjective, it's describing something else in the sentence. Some people are bored by this movie. Some is describing the word people. So when we use indefinite pronouns, make sure it's an actual pronoun and it's taking the place of a noun, not describing a noun like this one is. Okay, that's indefinite pronouns for 7th grade.